China, the most populous country in the world, is determined to reverse pollution levels in major cities by increasing its forest coverage. For decades, many of China's forests in mountain regions have been disappearing. People living in the mountains depended on the forest for wood to build their homes and as a source of fuel. But for villagers like Wu Shuhua, who lives in northern China, the forest meant more. His family depends on sheep for a living, and the forests provide good pasture for grazing. Now Guo is working to revive and protect the forest. Guo is one of several villagers working on forest restoration in Miyun County, two hours' drive from the city of Beijing. The idea is to plant as many trees as possible to absorb the excess carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere to improve air quality. It's an initiative spearheaded by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in partnership with the government of China. Pollution in China is, is an enormous problem. Things that the government needs to do, but there are certain things that the citizens need to adapt in, in the way they are living their everyday life. Pollution in cities is a worldwide problem. Reducing pollution levels through preservation of forests is a priority in many countries. Another initiative of the Chinese government is banning the amount of cars on the nation's highways. The new rule states cars with license plates ending in a certain digit are prohibited from driving in cities on specific days of the week. The government has also created a unique tool to help people track their own carbon footprint generated through their daily activities. This是一个碳足迹算器,然后它通过这个计算器呢,能计算我们老百姓日常生活的这个碳排放。我这里就举个简单的例子,比如说我们开私家车,比如说一年开了两万公里。那么你的碳排放就达到了四千五百千克,按